And our dash lit up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> I'm in danger! What's going on y'all? It's your old pal Mag Dump. So today, we got just a little box of goodies here. So we're gonna open it and um, show you what we're throwing on the truck today. But bam we got the AEV Pro Cal Snap. So it's a pretty simple setup, man. You got this little box. Oh! No! No refunds. You break your butt! All right, so we got the little ProCal snap here. And all it really comes with is this little harness right there. And of course, you can never have too many stickers. Oh, bright. Oh, oh! So apparently if you're looking for a way to tune your 2022 and you don't wanna fuss with tunes or anything like that and void your warranty, apparently this is a good way to go for not only 2022s, but quite a few years. But in the case of a 2022 specifically, I could hardly find anything to calibrate the speedometer for these brand new wheels and tires. And if y'all ain't seen the new wheels and tires, I'm gonna throw a link up here. So y'all go and check that out. Anyway, I could hardly find anything to calibrate my speedometer. And apparently this will do the trick. We picked it up for about 250 on Amazon. So we're gonna do a little tutorial today. Hopefully it won't be too tricky. AEV ProCal Snap, here we go. Bam. Man, she looks good. Look at that truck. So we remote started it. Here we are. We're working on the AEV ProCal Snap. First thing we're gonna do, turn the truck on. Crank the AC, because it's 104 degrees outside here in Texas. We're gonna cool her down, because we're gonna be working down here. And we're gonna be doing a little bit of hybrid of, uh, filming and also showing you some of the pictures that are in the AEV guide because they actually send some really good pictures. All right, first things first is we're gonna cool it down here, like I said, because... My balls was hot. I understand. I need to sit my black ass down and do some more cardio. She. It's way too hot. Okay. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pause the music. We're gonna go to media. Sources. There we go. All right, AM radio. So I realized that I told y'all like five first things to do. Let's re let's try that again. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do, crank the AC. It's too hot here. Second thing we're gonna do is put this on AM radio. That way it's ready for us once we get the Pro Cal snap paired up. And then I believe we're gonna go to audio settings later on and then we can adjust this deal. So for now, we'll go back to media, leave it on AM. We'll let the truck cool down, and in a minute here, we will start the install. Stay tuned. All right, so we're down here now. We pull this connector down. You're gonna basically hit two tabs. One's on the top, one's on the bottom. Sits in there like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop up a picture right about here. And that should tell y'all how to pop it out. And then you're gonna wanna get these blue and white connectors in slot one and nine. So get your magnifying glass out, figure out which slot's one, which one's nine, plug those in, they'll fit into a groove and they'll click right in. Before you do that, you wanna use a little tech screwdriver much like that and pop these gray clips so that you can remove the gray clips out so you can slide those wires in there you'll see them seated once you know they're in there right they'll click right in and then you put your gray clips back in now we're going to get this installed back into the place that we pulled out of and then we're going to connect this end into the green star bit which should be right behind this panel, which should pop right out. So we'll do that and we'll catch you in just one second. 
All right, y'all. So we went ahead and removed this piece of trim, which just popped right out. And there's two green star blocks in there. Now, depending on your trim level, this is a Laramie 2022. Uh, you may have multiple green star blocks. So you're gonna wanna go to the one with two columns on it and um, it'll pop into any one of those ports on the two column. It doesn't matter. Choose one, just go to an empty one, plug it in. So I'll pop up a picture of uh, what it shows in the AEV guide of what it looks like from the other angle. That was actually pretty simple. Um, make sure you pop this piece of trim off and don't try to come up from underneath. Otherwise, it's fixing to be a bad time. So with that, we're gonna put this trim piece back on and proceed with the insulation and the pairing. All right, so the first thing it says to do is to hit the start button twice to get it in the run position and then plug the ProCal snap into the OBD2 port. So we'll get that in the run position. All right, got that in run. That goes on the port and it turned green and it's blinking, which is a good sign. And then we want a blinking brake light on the speedometer. With your foot on the brake, press and hold the cruise on and off button for three seconds. So we're gonna hold the brake and we're gonna press cruise. One, two, three. And with that, the pairing process is complete. We're paired up and ready to calibrate our vehicle. Nice. All right, so we have a solid green light on the ProCal snap. So the only thing we're gonna do today is adjust tire size. So we're gonna go to media. We're gonna go to audio settings. We measured these tires to be 35.1. So you wanna get, go base, mid, treble. So we're gonna go three, five, and one. Base, mid, treble, three, five, one. So we're in the run position. We got, the ProCal snap is green. We got this on base, mid, treble, three, five, one. So what we're gonna do is hold the brake and press the resume plus button for three seconds and it should honk at us twice. So hit the brake pedal, resume, dash lit up like a Christmas tree so that's not good. <laughs> I'm in danger! <laughs> well it looks like we're having the same problem everyone else did. So we're gonna try and cycle it off. We're gonna wait a couple minutes and we're gonna try it again. All right also I think I know what we did wrong. So after you pair it and I think I've seen some other youtubers make the same mistake. So what you want to do after you pair it unplug your ProCal snap. Then you want to throw it back in run. Then once you throw it back in run, plug your ProCal snap back in. Let it turn that color green. It's all green now. So we'll go back to AM 35.1. And now we'll try to hold the brake and resume plus and it should beep at us two times. So hold the brake. So hold the brake, resume plus, one, two, three. All right, we're gonna try it again. Brake, resume plus, one, two, three. All right, well our dash is still lighting up like a Christmas tree. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery for about 15, 20 minutes. And supposedly that should clear this and we'll give it another try. Well, let's see what happens when we start it. 
looks like all our lights turned off besides our check engine light. So I guess that's a good thing. I guess we'll just have to drive it and see if that check engine light goes away. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. It looks like the GoPro died, but a couple tips and tricks we learned along the way. One, after you pair your ProCal, make sure you unplug it before you go to try and um, adjust your tire size or your gear ratio or anything like that or your TPMS. Make sure you unplug it. So you want to start the cycle all over again, get it into run, then plug in your ProCal, and then do what you got to do. Second of all, when you're programming something, let's say tire size, you want to hold your brake, hold down resume for about three seconds. As soon as you see the brake light start to blink, let go. That's your cue to let go, and it should honk you twice, and um, your tire size should be adjusted or whatever you're trying to adjust. Now, we, we drove a little bit, and our check engine light did go away. Um, we're trying 34.9 for tire size now, and um, we're going to go ahead and see if that's a little more accurate on the speedometer. All right, back on the trusty iPhone. So it looks like we're still about one mile per hour off. So we're going to tune this down to 34.8. So we're going to hit this into run mode we're gonna go ahead and put in our procal snap make sure that that goes green which it is we're gonna hit this into 34.8 and then we're gonna go ahead and hit the brake and resume till we see that brake light So it gave us the two honks. It might have triggered that check engine light again, which we can let it clear itself. So we'll go ahead and turn this off. We'll pull the ProCal snap out and we'll restart the truck. When we restart the truck, we have no check engine light, which is cool. We'll give everything a minute to start up and we'll be right back with you. All right, y'all, we're back at the house now. It looks like we got the most accurate reading at 34.6, which is kind of weird because the tire measures at 35.1. But hey, at least AEV, the ProCal Snap gives you the option to see what works for you and gets you the closest to it. I'd call it a success for the AEV ProCal Snap. I think another day we're gonna go ahead and mess with our tire pressure and uh, figure out where we want that. But for now, for today, it's a wrap, it's a success. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to Muddy Throttle Off-Road, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one.